Good afternoon, 47. Your target is media personality Bartholomew Argus. The charismatic musician-turned-film star is at the epicenter of a drugs and weapons investigation in the UK and the subject of an Interpol arrest order. The target has gone underground, leaving his former business partner, an infamous London gangster, Tommy the Hammer Stokes, to take the blame. We have learned that the target is lying low in Sapienza as a guest of Dino Bosco. And this represents an ideal window of opportunity to engage. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, yo, what up, what up? Uh, Happy New Year. I'm recording this on January 1st. We are about to do elusive target number 21, I think, but who's counting? It's called the bad boy. Um, I personally, the way I would prefer to do it requires you to have consumable lethal poison um, I have another video for that if that's what you want to do uh, but if you don't have anything unlocked because this is like filthy casual right um, then I'm gonna do this method all right here's the Intel if you want to read that go ahead and pause the video um, you need to bring a few things you need to bring a coin or if you don't want to bring a coin I guess technically you could bring anything that you can throw to distract NPCs, but I think a coin would be best and You should bring a silenced gun, right now. There's only one starting location So that's where we're gonna start and obviously the suit doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and do this Good evening 47 Intercepts have placed members of the target's entourage in Sapienza, and this may lead you to the target himself. The chaos of Bosco's epic film production will, no doubt, provide cover for your infiltration, and, I'm sure, a number of opportunities to engage him. Good hunting, 47. Alright, so right from the start, this car, which is normally not in the regular level, is going to be the key to drawing the target out, right? So there's five NPCs here. Two of these guards who stand guard over the car, this NPC right here is Fanboy, and two guys that are in conversation. We are going to try to take them all out. We're going to start by throwing the coin from around the corner of this truck, right around where the tires are. Okay, I understand your concern. I'll have a look. All right, so the first guard's going to go up to it. Get behind him. He starts picking it up. Bingo. You know your angle is good. Choke him out. Um, and now there's no place to really like hide the body in terms of like a box or anything. So for now, I'm just going to drag his body deeper in and drop the gun. Now I'm going to take the coin, and I really want to distract only this guy, not the guard behind him. So we have to watch our distances. And let's kind of like try to do it Wait, at an angle where he's not likely to see the body. Okay, so as soon as he's over here, take him out. Okay, great. So now we can start dragging the bodies to where we will ultimately hide them, which is not very far. Just going to be on the other side of this car and fence set up. Okay, so I'm just going to drag it around this fence and kind of try to tuck it behind this car as much as possible. I mean, we're going to be hiding five bodies here. So, you know, you do the best you can. Um, because ultimately, when the target and his entourage come, they're going to be like kind of in this area where my guy is walking in a circle. So. The, the line of sight should be blocked, but we might as well do our best to make sure. Um, okay, cool. So let's pick up the gun, pick up the first body, and likewise drag him over to where the other guy is. Because we're going to put all five bodies in a pile, more or less overlapping each other. Kind of like this. Great. Uh, might as well drop the gun as well. Oops, I didn't mean to pick you up. I did not mean to pick you up. Just kind of 
tuck this dude away as much as possible. Cool. Alrighty. So now we continue to work our way around. Take out the coin. Again, throw it kind of like near the front of the truck. You'll hear it. Hi. Uh, I think I heard something. Moving in so do not walk up to the car because you'll be trespassing and then you don't want this guy to... You don't want to interrupt his his process of like going after that coin by trespassing near the car. So just kind of give him a wide berth. Okay, just pick everything up. Continue to drag this guy away. I would not use the tall grass because in my experience, you think the tall grass will hide bodies, but sometimes it doesn't. So I think the safer thing is to hide all our bodies behind this car. All right? Okay, so now, um, truth be told, I don't know if we even need to take these two guys out. But just in case, I think you should, because it's not hard, right? I would toss a coin like here, maybe. Okay, one guy hears it. Those bloody kids messing around again. Now, I haven't been caught by anyone taking this guy out. I, I'm not going to guarantee it won't happen, but you can always restart at this point. I mean, so far it's not even five minutes, so it's not like we've made a huge investment. So we tuck this guy behind the car just like before. And grab his other arm. Okay. There we go. I don't like the fact that the gun is like starting to get a little bit raised. So maybe I'll just drop it like kind of here, you know, whatever. Um really hoping that there isn't some like pixel line of sight because that would be some BS anyway let's do this thing again with the coin Hello? you know what I'm just gonna pick up the coin again because I'm really paranoid about this guy what? about people seeing me take him out so I'm just gonna re-throw the coin kind of like over here Go, take him out. Easy peasy. Okay, so now we've got all five people in this general area subdued. Using our coin. Just gonna tuck his body away. And I don't think you need to, to really put that much thought into like hiding their bodies. But, you know, just in case, right? I'm a little uncomfortable with how it's like starting to stack up a bit, but I think we should still be okay. Like, I think, I don't think that the NPCs kind of venture out this far, so I, I'm pretty sure it'll be covered. We'll find out, right? Okay, cool. So the bodies are tucked away. Take out your silence gun. And I would take one shot kind of like around here in the dark area, the bottom right corner. And then you see it's starting to leak fuel, so shoot the actual fuel puddle. And then you're good. Switch to a coin. And now, now you just gotta wait, right? We've destroyed the car. The target and his posse are gonna come out and examine the car. All right, so I think it's been about a minute or so and I can see the, the target right there in front. Two of his suited bodyguards and some third guy are now here to check out the car. Um, they're gonna stand in front of it for like, oh, for like 30 seconds maybe. And, and I think the reason why is because normally if we had left those two guards there, I think, I think there's like a line of dialogue that they have or something, but anyway, just give it like a little bit and then 
once he starts to move, he's going to move around this bus. And we can just kick him down the cliff. And it's that simple. So we'll just wait. He's going to stand there for a little bit. Okay, I think it's been like about a minute or so. So now he's going to come around. So you get into position behind this truck. The other guys are not going to go around the corner. So you just stand behind him. Push him. That's it. Now you're good. So then now we're just going to run toward the exit. Make sure you don't accidentally run into some sort of trespassing area. Because that's going to spoil your, your rating, obviously, right? So, for example, here, don't go beyond that guy. Instead, cut right over here, down this alley. Don't venture into the set over there. Instead, turn to the right. Still continuing to follow these alleys. Basically, just hug the right wall. And the exit is right over here. You don't even have to lock back anything. That's it. Cool, so all in all, it took me about 10 minutes to do fastest people doing this in seven seconds. So congrats to Steph23. Um, the next fastest is like 37 seconds, so a little bit suspicious, but you never know. It's crazy speedrunners and what they can do. All right, cool. See you next time.